Hey everybody, it's Mike with the 1974 GMC. Uh, actually, making maybe what we'd call progress today. So, I, you, you, the last video I showed you finished staining my uh, my floorboards or sealing them, and you can see that I have the first one installed with the fasteners all kind of flush. Let me pause you for a second so I can get down there. Okay, so yeah, you see I pulled all the fasteners in nice and flush. And just so you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure now that I didn't do this right. So this board should have sat on top of the floor. But that's not how I made it. And it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it that way. What I did have to do was route out for those uh, angle iron pieces that run down the side of the coach. You can see that. So, But this is all in. I did, let me see if I can step over here a minute. I've got the, uh, the puppy is down under the coach right now, moving around. So, just step on over here. I did have to make, because I'm not exactly sure that the way the old board was routed out, it must have fit back a little bit further. So I had to make this little shim that I put in there and you can see the nuts and washers back there. But I had to make that little shim up. It's about a quarter of an inch. And then I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna caulk all along that edge. And then I may hit this with like, a, like an undercoating, undercoating spray. I'm not sure. It shouldn't get a ton of water there, but I wanna make sure it doesn't hit this and run down in there so run down you know kind of under the floor I guess it'd be under the floor the way it is but you know still I don't want it rotten on the board so the next thing was is there was a slight recess in this aluminum panel and it was full of holes a lot like the front of dash is there and those holes were you know maybe some factory stuff but the majority of it was aftermarket ad stuff underneath the underneath in here like when they where they had their uh, fire suppression system and the way they routed some some of their wiring and stuff so they drilled a bunch of holes in that so I wanted to block those holes off and so this is a self it's an adhesive backed insulation um, it's not foil faced it's just like a rubber face and I bought that really to do up the front of dash just to, again to seal up a bunch of the little holes that are in there so I have that. Um, the next step is going to be before I put, there's the, the board that goes in there. Before I put that board on, I'm going to caulk down here, you know, fill some of these areas or best I can with caulk. You know, that one's a little bit bigger gap in there. Um, I didn't use any caulk on this board because I can get to it from the back side, so I'm going to caulk it from the back side. And then there's some bigger holes that I'll eventually fill with uh, spray foam before we go too far. This will also get a piece of that half-inch foil-faced insulation facing down, and that'll be caulked in place to kind of seal this up. Uh, we'll get a picture of that probably in a little bit. So I'm going to pause you and uh, do a little bit more work and then uh, uh, come back and show you what was done. So this is the uh, sound deadener insulation I'm using. I bought it on Amazon. I'll give you an idea there if you want to find some. And then the construction adhesive I'm going to use to hold it down is Gorilla Heavy Duty Ultimate. Hopefully it's uh, good stuff. You can uh, just walk you over here a second. I'm getting ready to cut some insulation. I just took a measurement, but you can see that now the, the upper board is in and over there in the corner. Now I'll climb up in here. I'm just trying to keep myself from falling. You can see where it's kind of oozed out a little bit where I squeezed it in, but I sealed those areas that I told you about. You can see it up top there. Hang on a second. All right, you can see now how I've put the construction adhesive in. I'm getting ready for the board to go. So I'll uh, kind of continuous bead. And then there is the foil-faced insulation that's cut. 
Got just a little piece of wood to push it in. It'll be nice and snug. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, there you go. That's the foil faced uh, insulation set down in the pocket. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I guess to tell you, I told you I put this piece in wrong or made this piece probably was too long, should have sat on top of the floor. Um, this piece I made flush with the structure so that my, my board would come across and have support back here where before this probably went up past and it might have also sat on the on the, uh, the board down here. But so just the way I did it, I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. My coach did have this like aluminum bracket right in here that came up, but it was I was moving it around when I got this piece off and it just broke off so it wasn't very very well attached so I'm not really concerned about it I think I got enough bolts in this to to hold it well so all right give me a minute we'll put this top piece on all right there we are all three pieces of the step installed I'll start uh, cutting the insulation for these spots and putting the uh, insulation on the floorboard there or front of dash start working my way around on that and uh, then these boards can uh, can go in and I'll have basically I can now start probably then start carpet and then my uh, my dash back in and that gets the windshields back in that makes a big deal so we're moving along any questions hit the comments you know smash a like or a follow talk to you later have a great day